Our goal in this paper is to estimate 3D human and camera motion in global coordinates. However, this is a highly challenging task due to the coupling of human and camera motions in videos captured with dynamic cameras. Our paper tackles this challenging problem by jointly reasoning about both human and camera motion. There are only a few works that address the problem of global human pose estimation. These methods leverage the insight that the global human root trajectory is correlated with the local body movements. Therefore, they suggest that global root trajectories can be estimated by learned motion priors or by enforcing physics-based constraints on the reconstructed human motion. As can be seen in this sample result from Glamour, local body motion is not enough to fully resolve the ambiguity and recover the global trajectories. Others utilize SLAM methods to estimate camera poses, then keep the camera poses fixed and estimate the global scale. However, in-the-wild videos often contain moving objects which can degrade the camera pose localization and subsequently affect the human motion estimates. In our paper, we propose pace, person and camera estimation that disentangles human and camera motions using both foreground human motion priors and background scene features. We jointly optimize human and camera motions using a bundle adjustment objective to match both human pose and background scene features. Here, as seen in this example, PACE can fix the inaccurate camera trajectories and solve for the global scale by using the human motion prior constraints. The SLAM algorithm helps the motion prior to estimate a more accurate human global trajectory. In our paper, we also propose a new synthetic dataset for benchmarking human and camera motion estimation from dynamic videos, called the Human and Camera Motion HCM, dataset. We created this dataset since it is difficult to obtain ground truth human and camera poses for in the wild videos. Given a video with dynamic human and camera motions, we begin by obtaining initial 2D human pose, 3D human motion, and camera motions using off-the-shelf methods. We then use the unified optimization framework that optimizes the global human motions and full camera trajectories. Our framework leverages a human motion prior and performs latent optimization by optimizing the latent code of this motion prior. In our motion prior, the latent codes for root orientation and local body pose are separated, resulting in higher quality motion. Here we show results of our method on in the wild videos. Notice that PACE can also handle multi-person videos. Our method yields smooth and physically plausible human and camera motion. It can recover the relative distances between each subject in the scene. Pace can handle large and fast motions like running on a track. Here we compare our method and a recent state-of-the-art method Glamour. This demonstrates the result of pace on a video with close human-to-human -human interaction. And this is the result of Glamour in the same video. Notice that both human and camera motion results from Glamour are jittery. Pace is able to generate accurate trajectory of the camera in this sequence with large camera motion. This also improves the overall human trajectory accuracy. Glamour only relies on local body pose to recover both camera and human motion. This yields inaccurate camera and human motion when the local body pose is ambiguous. For pace, camera provides strong cues about the heading and global motion of the subjects.
latent optimization of local and global body pose helps to generate smoother and physically plausible human motion thanks to generative human motion prior utilized in PACE. Glamour only optimizes global human motion without updating the local body pose during global optimization. This results in less accurate local body motion. Here we show failure cases from our model. Although our method can refine camera trajectories obtained from SLAM, it is not effective in scenarios where SLAM methods fail catastrophically. Additionally, our method fails with rare motions like this push-up sequence which is not well represented in motion capture datasets. Thank you for listening.